Hydrogen electric aviation is becoming a stark reality. A startup out of Santa Cruz, California just completed their first 523 mile flight in an eVTOL aircraft powered by hydrogen electric technology. Joby happens to be one of the very first companies in the United States and even in the world developing, prototyping, testing, and certifying eVTOL or electric vertical takeoff or landing aircraft. This is a pretty big deal for an industry that has been relatively nascent for the past few decades in the development for new innovations in propulsion of aircraft. Because let's be honest, those machines in the sky are some of the most polluting machines in the entire transportation sector. And what's particularly exciting with Joby is not only have they figured out a way to make electric aircraft happen, but also a new business strategy revolving around electric air taxis. Yes, you heard that right, folks. Sooner rather than later, you'll have the opportunity to book an Uber with an aircraft or fulfill a connection at an airport for Delta using another plane that can take off completely vertically. And this business strategy, folks, makes complete sense. Think about just how many times you've been stuck in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, commuting less than 10 miles with an estimated time of more than an hour. This is the reality for many metropolitan giants like Los Angeles, Miami, Boston, San Francisco, and even cities in Texas. The amount of cars on the road has skyrocketed, and there is no slowdown in the number of companies that are producing vehicles at record rates. And as it turns out, we simply can't build enough roads to overtake the traffic congestion, which is why traffic problems are only going to get worse before they're going to get better. And this is where aircraft like the one that Joby is engineering makes a lot of sense. For those critical applications where a helicopter is not able to carry enough people, and not sustainably at least, you can use electric propulsion, which happens to be very efficient for medium to small ranges. If you want to go from downtown Manhattan to the airport in less than 10 minutes, it is virtually impossible. In an emergency scenario, that is exactly what matters, and every second counts, which is why this kind of business strategy can make a lot of sense for those companies and employers who really value their time and don't necessarily have financial constraints. Yes, these flights are not going to be cheap, but they're not meant to be, at least at the beginning. And the reason for that is because this is a very fast-growing market, expected to be a north of $17 billion by 2040. And one of the technologies leading that right now is not only batteries, but also hydrogen fuel cells. As it turns out, Joby recently acquired a company called H2 Fly, which develops specifically propulsion systems using hydrogen equipment. And with their latest flight have been completed last week of 523 miles without no refueling or touching the ground, a serious breakthrough has happened in this industry. Over the course of four hours and 47 minutes, the aircraft had less than 10% of its hydrogen fuel remaining when it landed back on the ground. With basically a 50% cargo capacity, that is a significantly good result for a vehicle estimated to carry anywhere from four to six passengers, including luggage. The way that this aircraft essentially works is by taking off vertically from a ground, and then once reaching cruising altitude, it can shift the angle of its propellers, its motors, and its flight surfaces to travel completely horizontally like a regular airplane. And because lithium ion batteries, even with their best energy density, are not that effective for long-range applications, a fuel cell using liquid hydrogen tanks is used to charge the battery on the go for the specific vehicle. Now, certain use cases will use certain technologies, but at least for medium to short ranges, hydrogen makes the most sense. Because although this gas takes up a lot of volume, even when compared to the best lithium-ion battery pack designs, it offers a volumetric energy density of kilowatt hours per liter almost twice as good at 700 bars of pressure. Joby's intended mass-produced eVTOL specifically uses 
four batteries mounted in the wings and four to six propellers defending on the configuration along with two fuel cells mounted right in front of the cockpit. This gives the vehicle a really unique look and makes it more efficient and much more quieter than conventional aircraft in the sky because as it turns out, these electric motors that are powered by the fuel cell and batteries only run at around 250 RPM. And what's most exciting is that not only this company has an investment from Delta Airlines for EV tall applications, but they are the closest company to achieving FAA certification to stage five. This is obviously the most important part that could make or break EV tolls. You have to be able to make these safe for consumers. And as it turns out right now, this market is growing very fast that players like Airbus, Embraer, and even Workhorse want to be a part and take on this charge. Hydrogen electric aviation isn't going to just propel EV tolls, but also jet engines in the very near future, because at the end of the day, that's the only way we can get transatlantic flights a reality more sustainably. Electric propellers can only get us a certain distance, and we're going to need to invest in turbofan technology that can run on not only sustainable fuels, but also net zero fuels like hydrogen or methanol. And that is exactly what this industry is headed towards. Joby certainly has the lead in this charge, at least when it comes to startups in the United States. And it's going to be really exciting how they use their very impressive balance sheet and cash position as well as investments to propel electric aviation. As usual, folks, that is just my take on the situation. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And thanks a lot for watching. Take care.